Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate Halloween pumpkin in fake 3D in After Effects. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how the layers are separated to prepare the file for animation. I have also provided the illustration file for this one. You can collect it from link in the description. Ok, let's jump into After Effects. So let's make a new composition. I'm going to keep the resolution 1920 to 1080 and the frame rate of 30 fps. Press OK to create. Let's import the illustration file and let's drag it into the timeline. Let's go inside the composition. We're going to select all the layers of the pumpkin. Let's check it if everything is selected. So we need to select everything and group it together. Let's get inside the composition. So now we are going to select this 2 and 3. These are simply lines on the pumpkin. We are going to convert it into a shape vector layer. Let's delete this illustration layers and let's rename these layers. And after that, I would like to change the path a bit after changing it to the shape layer. You can see there are lots of anchor points over here. This vertex, we need to delete this. So for that, we can simply select this and press delete a button to delete it. So we are going to select all of this together, delete it, keeping only one at this end. After that, we are going to use the Bezier handle and try to change and make it a bit curved. Same for this one. You can also use this Convert Vertex tool to Bring this Bezier handles if you don't find the Bezier handle. Alright. So right now we are going to select these layers and convert it into a shape layer again. Delete this illustration layers and let's remove outline from the name. Alright, so right now this whole file is ready for animation. So now we are going to rig the face of this pumpkin. So click on links and constraints. Then we are going to get inside this connector. Click on the start. And we are going to select the slider control. Let's select it and place it over here. Also, let's change the color of the background to see it properly. Now we are going to open the position property of the face, separate the dimension, put keyframe on X, jump onto next 4 frame, put a keyframe again, again jump onto next 4 frame, put a keyframe again. At this point we are going to move the face to the side and at this end we are going to move it to the side. Select all the keyframes of the position and then go inside Twig, click on Connect to Properties and it should connect the face with the slider. Let's check out. Okay, so let's move this one, this side and this should work properly now. Alright, now after that we are going to pre-comp these two lines together. Then go inside contains on path property, put keyframes. Jump on to next four frame. Again, put keyframes. Remember, we need to keep the timing same. Then to next four frames, again, put the keyframe. So, at this point, 
we are going to move it in such a way that it's going to cross this side. So we are going to select this path, move it slightly to this side. Maybe we are going to select it and move it this side. And at this point, we are going to select and move it this side. Alright, so open the time remapping, enable it, put a keyframe over here and delete this keyframe at the end and also put a keyframe at the middle. So simply select all the keyframes, click on connect with properties. After that, if we select, we can see it's moving, but currently it might look a bit weird because we have to apply track mat on this layer. So duplicate this pumpkin body and apply a track mat. Right now, it's looking pretty fine. So now we're going to rig these pedestals at the top with the twig connectors. So open the path property, put a keyframe, So at zero, we're going to shrink the path a bit like this. Add this one, something like this. Also, let's fix the position a bit. And at the end, we are simply going to copy and paste the initial keyframes. So select the keyframes, connect it with property. After that, let's check out the slider if it's working properly. All right, so open position and we are going to keep it simply zero, zero. So now we are going to get inside this composition and we are going to animate the oscillation first. So let's move the anchor point of the pumpkin and put it somewhere around here. Let's solo the string and we are going to add a hose over here with the help of this rubber hose. Click on start and end. Let's name it string and click on add new hose. Put one end over here, another one over here. You can press and hold the control key in the keyboard to snap. Let's decrease the length to about 450 or maybe 440. All right, now we're going to select all the layers of the hose. Click on manage. And we're going to click on auto flip. Use this rotation tool and we're going to rotate the flip direction and put it somewhere around here. So it is going to flip whenever it crosses this line. All right, let's turn off the visibility. Now let's check out how it's working. So it's actually flipping in the opposite direction. We can fix it very easily. Simply go in the direction, bend direction and change the direction. If it's minus, then just remove the negative or if it's positive, then make it negative. And right now, if we check out, it's properly working. So now we are going to select pumpkin, parent it with this end. After that, we don't need to see these layers anymore. We can simply turn off. Of course, not this one. So we are going to also change the color. Let's give it something near to white. Give it a width of eight. Let's delete the string layer. And after that, we are going to animate this end. So simply shy out these layers. All right, so 
Open the position, put a keyframe, open the rotation, put a keyframe. And make sure it's at zero. So or wherever from you are going to start the animation. And after that, we're going to slightly move it around here. And let's rotate it a bit. Let's rotate it minus 25. And after that, let's jump on to next 45 frames. And we're going to move it this side. And let's give it 25. All right. After that, we need to fix the motion path a bit. We can make it curved like this. And after that, simply select the keyframes, is is it? And put expression loop out. And inside, we can add ping pong. Let's check out. All right, we need to copy and paste it on the rotation as well. Of course, we can slow it down a bit. Let's slow it down. Let's jump on to 60 frames. Select the keyframes. And put it over here. Let's check out. Well, it's too slow. Let's give it 50. All right, so we're going to get inside the graph editor and give it a more is like this at each of these ends and slightly offset the rotation. All right, now after that, all we need to do is to animate this connector, the slider. Open position, put a keyframe, then jump on to this end and put a keyframe again. So check out the direction here. It's going to move this side. And we are not going to move it completely. Let's give some space. And at this end, it's going to move this side. Again, we are not going to move it completely. Let's give some space. Select the keyframes is is it. Also, we are going to copy the graph from these keyframes or else we can change the graph in the motion graph editor and make it exactly like it. Or else we can use a plugin called EaseCopy. So it's used to copy graphs or copy keyframes. So we're going to copy is this time. So select the keyframes, copy it. Select this keyframes, is it over here? So this plugin is completely free. You, I'm going to link it in the description. You can check it from there. Let's copy the expression and paste it over here. And again, we are going to slightly offset it from rotation as well. Let's check out the animation now. All right, so like this, you can animate a Halloween pumpkin in fake 3D in After Effects. I would highly recommend you to try it on your own. I have also provided the illustration files. So go check it out and try it on your own. And that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.